Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. We are very happy to see you here. And the question of the day, are you ready to make some money? Okay, today we're going to be talking about CRO, Crypto.com and what I think will be happening in the near future. Let's jump to the charts and talk a little bit about overall what happened, that we had a huge upside and then a huge downside. Why this has happened? Because Crypto.com was offering crazy, crazy return on your investments, a 10, 15%, 20% return on your cryptos. So people obviously were jumping on it like there's no tomorrow. So that's where we see this huge upside. And then when they start bringing some changes to the platform and telling people that they no longer can be making these huge returns, people start panicking, people start selling, people were not happy with that. But you need to understand one thing that there's going to be a lot of people new people coming into the space and they're coming right now and for them that they never saw this 15 20 percent returns and now they see three four five percent return which is still great because the bank ain't giving you that much money right on your return plus all that of course you have the credit cards but i'm not going to be getting here too much into the fundamentals i want to talk a little bit more about what the charts showing us and again, just to remind me, there's a lot of people going to be coming in now that Bitcoin are sitting around 20,000, everybody talking about it and people are going to be jumping in and Crypto.com make it very easy to buy, very easy to stake. Uh, so, yeah. OK, so we seen this huge upside and we back to pretty much where we started from. So you can tell that here we had a pretty strong resistance. Uh, here was a little bit of resistance when the coin just came out from the history of the chart we have here. Here we hit this resistance, we couldn't stay above. Here we kind of hit the top of it, we went back and then when we broke it, it was just a crazy upside. And you can also tell that as soon as we broke it and we continue going up, we stayed above the 21 exponential moving average. Uh, we would come back to it, go up kind of almost touch it, go up, come back here, go up until we start breaking it. And when we weren't able to stay above it, we start falling and kind of going farther from that exponential moving average. But what start happening? It looks like we start finding the bottom. So we came to this area. We tried to break here once the 21 exponential moving average. We couldn't. We tried to break second time didn't work we tried touch it third time but now the more we try to break it and you see we slowly stop in this huge crazy fall and probably will be creating some kind of cup pattern that uh, we can see just for example with the v chain what you can see also the v chain had his uh, had here huge resistance and when we broke it we exploded VeChain went on a huge run of almost 200%. And then when we came down, we came down to say, okay, whatever was previous as a resistance, now it working as a support. And what happened since then when we find our bottom and we didn't find our bottom on the first try. We tried here, 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 creating somewhat kind of round shape. And after we finally found the bottom, up to here we're about 80 percent if you go and look here we almost we reach 100 percent it fell since then but i mean huge gains came after that so what i'm uh, as well just show you if we're just gonna use our beautiful fibonacci retracement it's gonna show us also that we reach here the 0 0.778 fibonacci retracement and it looks like we're finding the bottom here Again, until we're not going to break this 21 exponential moving average to the upside and stay above it. Uh, this is the daily chart, by the way, and stay above it. We probably we by the definition of it, we're still in the downtrend, but it looks like we're trying to break it. So me personally, I'm holding about eight, 10 coins that they're my, my long term hold. Crypto.com probably not going to be one of them but I'm definitely going to be trading it 
because it seems like there's a lot of upside to be coming. So me, I'm gonna be looking somewhere here to enter. And if I enter here, I'm gonna be putting a pretty tight stop loss and with a hope to the upside. If it's gonna trigger my stop loss and we're gonna be continue going down, we have here area of support here. Uh, before we also have some support around this area. So this kind of minor supports and I don't think we're gonna get there but I'm gonna be trying entering my positions. If I'm gonna try somewhere here and it will hit my stop loss, it's fine. I'll try again and again and again because the upside, if we look in risk reward ratios, how much can you lose? If you enter right now and it hit your stop loss and or let's say we're gonna go down to pretty much our previous March lows, you can lose 50, 60 if you don't put any stop loss. But what you can gain from here to until the upside, you can gain 200%. Let's say if you're not gonna reach the all-time high, I'm pretty sure it's gonna reach to these areas so you can make 100%. So you, you're still gonna be profiting much more than you're gonna be losing. So me personally, I'm willing to take a risk like this because I see a lot of upside especially we're finding the bottom here slowly and it looks like if we're gonna go a little bit lower it's not gonna be that far if you somebody that are looking to get into crypto.com uh, and hold it for a long term uh, that's probably would be a great places to start always try to enter with three maybe even four entries so if you have first entry here and again, we're still in downtrend, so we might not be breaking it immediately. So there's still a chance to go lower. So you can enter again and again and again, but it has to go up eventually unless something fundamentally really bad going to happen with the crypto.com, which again, nobody can predict it. Anything might happen. But overall, you can see there's plenty of upside. And I just compare it to v chain but there's a lot of other charts that show you that after such a massive correction and when people really really scared to buy and the ones that will be buying right now or in the next week or before it's gonna start pumping they're gonna be making the most profits and if you're entering in few stages if you just want to buy and hold you're still gonna be buying at very low prices and you have a lot of potential to make a lot of profits so that's all i wanted to share for today please subscribe to our channel if you want to make sure you like it if you did or you can dislike it if you didn't that's fine for me it's a free world free country you can show your opinion and we would appreciate it because uh, we put in our opinion out there uh yeah that's all for today and we'll see you next time thank you for joining us adios